This is a developing story for us. Rapper Draco, the ruler, was stabbed to death at a concert in Exposition Park. Rick Lozano joins us now live with the latest on the murder investigation. Rick. And we're just across the street from the stage where that concert was taking place. In fact, as we look behind us here, across the fence there, workers all day long have been busy dismantling the stage where last night's music festival was taking place. But ultimately, it was called off because of a horrific act of violence. Rapper Draco the Ruler fatally stabbed behind the main stage area as a fight broke out around 8.30 p.m. Sky Fox quickly overhead, the scene filled with police and other emergency vehicles swarming the area as concert goers were leaving the scene after officials called an end to the event. Draco's real name, Daryl Caldwell, an up-and-coming West Coast rap artist. He was scheduled to appear on the show that featured megastars Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, Ice Cube. Draco the Ruler, known for his high energy and creativity, somehow became embroiled in a fight backstage. His attacker pulled a knife and stabbed the 28-year-old in the neck. Yet another loss for an industry that has seen several artists like Nipsey Hussle and Tupac Shakur murdered. It breaks my heart that we're going through an epidemic of people dying, whether it be by drugs or by violence. Um, you know, I think there should be more counseling towards uh, rappers and entertainers and the families who end up losing loved ones. Um, I think at LA we're going through a very dark chapter and we have a you know big problem as far as crime and today, this statement from rapper Snoop Dogg, quote, as one of many performers, I was there to spread positive vibes only to my city of L.A. I was informed about the incident and chose to immediately leave the festival grounds. I am praying for peace in hip-hop, end of quote. And so, the once upon a time in L.A. Music Fest never really got going. Promoted by Live Nation, which has seen its share of troubles lately, the same promoter that uh, staged last month's Astroworld Music Festival in Houston, when t uh, where 10 people died in a human stampede. Live Nation has offered no comment about what happened here last night. And in the meantime, the investigation is continuing. No arrests yet by the Los Angeles Police Department. We'll stay on the top of the story for you. For now, we're live in Los Angeles. Rick Lozano, Fox 11 News.